And a good day to all of you. Sean Henderson, Pierre, the Beverage Ramble. Back again today. We're looking at, forgive me for the pronunciation, Schofferhofer. S-C-H-O-F-F-E-R-H-O-F-E-R. Schofferhofer. A grapefruit Hefeweizen beer. Imported from Germany. It says two point whatever percent, uh, excuse me, so I'll say 2.5 percent ABV, but alcohol by volume content in Kansas and Minnesota is 3.2 percent. So, made with beta carotene, so you know it has a lot of healthy benefits, right? Beta carotene, if you're finding carrots and other vegetables or fruits, whatever. Unfiltered um, half a beer with grapefruit juice and natural flavor, colored with beta carotene, as it says. Um, I guess this beer will be considered, again, Hefeweizen or maybe Summer Shandy. I don't know. Very popular in that part of the world. Immediately getting the scent of grapefruit immediately right now with this beer. So I'm going to try to keep doing beer reviews as much as I possibly can. As you know, I've been going through some personal changes recently in my life, and uh, so how it goes, right? But it must continue, but the show must go on for my viewers. Thank you, Charlie. So. I had this about maybe a month and a half ago, and I, when I had this, I was like, man, this is kind of like a grapefruit juice blended with carrots, and that's pretty much it. I'm sure super cold is to have this beer, which I did. I put it in my cooler, but... Hefeweizen or maybe wheat beers are... Very popular things during the summer months. And this is, I'm sure, is very popular during the summer months. Sorry, spitting out, but a little overflow. Pint sized bottle, 16 ounce cans, I guess you could say. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of looking at this as a, as a shandy. I'm not looking at this as anything more than that, you know. Let's see if I can. I don't see this as the same line as the Lining Kugel beers. You know, 2.6%. It's kind of light. Very, very, very light, if you ask me. As you can see, I'm doing on location right now. I'm not anywhere near my area of residence. Has a very orangey, very sort of like a you know carroty feel to it. But I guess this is popular. Again, I mean, you could you could crush a lot of these. I mean, you ain't gonna get feel anything. You ain't gonna feel a buzz whatsoever. Drink 20 of these, maybe you will feel something, but maybe three or four, five, you'll be all right. So, um, I don't know much about the, the brewery or, you know, what they do, what other styles of beers they put out. Um, maybe they do these styles of beers, maybe do a lot of, maybe some non-alcoholic beers. And we know now that certain to be, the seem to be the rage now, the sober movement thing that I'm sure you've probably seen if you read anything on social media, Facebook, Instagram, you know, uh, Twitter, you know, um, seen, I'm sure you've seen videos of this, different social gr uh, groups that deal with non-alcoholic stuff, how this is the non, 
the sober movement seems to be all the thing, you know, or drinking beers that with very little or no alcohol, you know, uh, Miller 64, you know, things like that, you know, or, you know, uh, Budweiser Slug 55. If you're really trying to conscious on your weight and not really trying to put a pack on any pounds or not have a beer belly, I'm sure this is the beer for you, but, you know, I don't know, but, um, you know, like I said, I wish I had bought more of these because I would have been like, you know, you know, and, 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 and function enough, you know, to drive my car, maybe go to work. Maybe attend church service. Hey, who knows, right? So, but anyway. Um, Schofer Hoffer, again, for the style, you know, for other Heffenweisens, again, I'm, yeah, again, very popular, these fruity flavored summer type of, uh, maybe a rattler, I guess you could say, shandy, you know. Very popular as we're still, and we're still in our middle of August right now. It's still hot as hell, and I'm sure this is, you know, particularly me living here in the southeast in good old Mobile, Alabama. You know, this is something that I'm sure will you can crush and enjoy again and again and again and again and again and again. So, but that's how I look at this beer. I, again, for the style. I'm gonna go B plus with this. So, um, would I get this? Not really. Again, but for what it is, you know, I'm sure it's, you know, you you'll have that. You know, if you're lacking beta carotene and in your diet, then this will be the beer for you that can replenish it immediately. So, all right, anyway, uh, B-plus score for the Schofferhofer. Forgive me for if I'm butchering the name. If you write your comments and let me know how I pronounce it, you tell me. But Schofferhofer, B-plus for this Hefeweizen lager or fruit juice. You know, so, again, for the style. If it was overall, I would give it an F, but for the style... I'm going to give this a B plus. So there's my score. John Henderson, Pierre, the beverage room team. Keep on watching. Always cheers. Live, laugh, and love. Shuffle hopper. Hopper, hopper, hop, hop, hop. Yay.